G'day and welcome to Stitch Up and a brand new series on Airport CEO. So um, we'll be uh, kicking off a, a series in this uh, fantastic game. Um, and just to uh, quickly uh, top this one off, um, so at the uh, uh, at the start of the video, uh, or before I started recording, I have um, uh, set up the airport. So I've just uh, created a new airport. The reason I didn't go to the uh, loading screen and go in from there is you can't change the audio settings until you are um, in game, um, because the game's not quite sort of uh, in full release yet. So um, I've just gone and turned the audio settings right down. So hopefully the music, um, which at the moment is hardly even existent. I can't even hear it uh, here. Might be playing in the background though. Um, but the music gets really loud, um, but I've turned it right down, so we'll see how it goes. All right, let's kick off. So um, with this uh, airport here, we're gonna just uh, focus on general aviation for this first episode. So hopefully about half an hour and we should have general aviation up and running with a few stands. The way I want to lay the airport out, um, so because this is all about future expansion and future episodes, so I'm thinking of running um, the first runway just above where this road comes, this public road comes in, so just along here. And this area in the um, sort of southwest of the screen will um, keep for general aviation. I want to fence all the way along the boundary, including the boundary of where we can expand into the next um, land piece. So there will be fences running around it. I do want a little bit of realism um, and we'll run service roads along here. The road will split off to the right hand side eventually and in this um, sort of east and southeastern corner and along this eastern boundary um, I want to run the first terminal in this bottom corner. So maybe episode two we'll get into the, um, uh, the, the uh, commercial flights and we'll look at putting um, the um, terminal in there. So what we might just do is, um, we can talk a bit more as we go, but let's just get our first um, bits of infrastructure in. So we're gonna go for a small runway and we're really gonna um, kick off on this one. Um, uh, we're just gonna start off here with, let's see if we can get it right across here. Need to leave a little bit of room there. And a little bit, a little bit of room here at the top of this road, and a little bit of room over here um, along that boundary. So I think that might be good. Let's go with that one. So they'll they'll kick off. Um, and in addition to that, we'll get some taxiways. But before that, we're going to jump in and get our first building contract. So if I go to economy and contracts, um, I've got uh, the small and the medium. So small, 63 maximum contractors at eight dollars ten per. Uh, hourly fee and this one up to 84 with five dollars 80. I'm gonna take the medium um, Just thinking about future expansion. Don't want to have to go and get another a different contract. So we'll sign the medium contract And that'll rock and roll um, So if I go to operations and construction um, What do we say available 84? Let's put 30 contractors in um, Now I don't know if um, this has changed, but I'm sure you could enter a number in here at some point um, but maybe not. So I'll just click up to 30 here. Oh, hold to increase by 10. So, oh yes, so if I go 20 and 30. Okay, so 30 contractors. That's what it would have been. All right, so that one is, they're, they're now on their way. Um, I think eventually we'll move the drop-off zones for the construction, so the bus and the construction materials, we'll move those eventually down, down as well. But for the moment, I think they'll be right. Um, I like to think that we're setting up the, we're setting up the secure zone. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll set the secure zone up, so we'll do the, uh, the, the car, um, vehicle checkpoint we'll do that sort of just up here so um, we do need some um, um, some taxiways and we're going to use a three tile taxiway so let's get those going as well um, gee I'll tell you what I'm gonna go straight to for taxiways I'm gonna go straight to concrete uh, is it concrete taxiways that I want let's think about this let me just think, service roads are going to be concrete, um, all service roads are going to be concrete and all public roads are going to be asphalt, so I can tell the difference. So does that mean I want... Hmm, let's keep grass then, hang on. Um, 
uh, where are we going? So, hang on. So we're looking at taxiways. Yeah, let's do glass taxiways. We can always upgrade them. Okay, so um, three across, and let's drop it down a fair bit at the moment. In fact, let's drop this one down to about ooh, here, 10 long. Uh, and for this one, I think I want three and three. So six and three. Oh, there we go. Six and three. Yep. And that will give me a gap. And now I should be able to run. So now I've got a little gap in between the runway and the taxiway. So let's run that one um, all the way as well. The taxiway is now good. Um, already we haven't got enough room for the vehicle checkpoint. We might be able to do something there though. Let's uh, keep that in mind. Um, and these guys here, so we're looking at down to the aircraft stands. So if I have a taxiway here, we can put quite a bit of room in, in here. And let's run uh, three, hang on, the taxiways. Yeah, let's run. Whoop. Right, even better, let's just run this along here at this point. So we don't want to go too crazy here because we know that the builders will have to get into it and start building all this. They haven't even, well, they've started the runway, but they're, God only knows how long. Might just pop it onto medium speed or, or um, speed two just for a little bit while we see it kick off. Um, now we know we'll need some aircraft stands. Uh, well, there's the runway. That's not too bad. It's coming along. Okay, grass airport stands just to keep the idea that um, this is starting off very basic. Um, keeping an eye on our funds. We should be able to get the airport open at about still with 1.6 million in reserve, but we'll, we'll see. That that might I mightn't have done my maths correctly on that one. Um, we'll put this one here and we'll put them right next to each other. Aircraft stands. We will get three. I like the idea of three of those. Um, we know we'll need, what we always forget is the uh, aircraft control tower. So I might put that uh, here. Let's just orient it the right way because we, we do orientate it the right way because we do no we need a road um down the other side of it so mm, not too close to the planes though i think that kind of works yeah that's good leaves enough room for a, a road and a fence um that's good happy with that okay um now um the let's put in some uh what can we do here Actually, if we go to economy and contracts, no, not contracts, uh, economy and procurement, we know we'll be able to get the avgas, and for here we need an aircraft stand. So one of them hasn't been built yet, so once the first one's built, we'll be able to come in here and get that. Um, so that's all, that's all good. Um, but in the meantime, uh, Let's just get those roads going. So public roads, infrastructure, public road, and we'll be looking at asphalt for a public road. So I'm thinking public road's gonna be along here, and hopefully that's far enough away from the taxiway. Um, let's do public road up to there. So we need to connect it. Public road, yep. Now I'll leave a block of eight, I believe it is, for the little, um, um, vehicle checkpoint so if I go service road and to distinguish what's public road and service road we'll keep the service roads as concrete and we'll go concrete so leaving a gap of four we'll do there one two three four and now we'll swing south so I think that's pretty good um, we'll try and line this up with the bottom of those stands so I think that's about there and now we should be able to run these ones along here um, and these should connect up with the included part in this in the small stands they have a little bit of that service road um, eventually we need to connect the service road to the aircraft control tower but I don't think we need to do that at, um, uh, just to get general aviation up and running I think once it's built it's built I'm gonna go to triple speed and we'll have a look at a couple of things um, let's just have a look we'll turn off on the runway turning off commercial it's allowing for small planes and we're staying on general aviation. I'll go runway open. So I think that's good. Runways rock and roll. 
um, keeping an eye on these stands. I really wish um, they would build things in order, but it looks like they build things that are closest to them. Although they, once they've finished their current job, they look for what's closest. Um, I think that's how it goes, and therefore that's why this aircraft control tower will probably be last to be built. But that's all right, we're on um, uh, uh, triple speed, so we'll rock and roll as soon as that's uh, done. Um, something else we can do just while that's building um, is we can pop in um, the nodes. So if I have a look at the nodes, yeah, this is good. All right, let's put the nodes in here. And there. Yep. Those nodes are good. And from here, we're going, I think that's, it's gone nighttime, so I can't see what's going on, but I'm pretty sure this is what's happening. That we're doing it here, double click. And these nodes are now all joined up. I need one uh, holding point. Um, so I'll put the holding points here, right clicking, setting holding points, and I'll put a right a holding point here. So at least one to get us going, I think, is what's required. Um, and that's, that's all good. Um, how do I turn those nodes off now? Oh, here we go, we've got the stands. Okay, so just while we've got the stands, let's just pop this back down to speed one and we shall look at under economy procurement we'll look at the avgas fuel service okay so we'll put that on that one should rock and roll pretty soon um, and as these stands are being built we will set them for general aviation open them and the third thing we used to do with each of these uh, when I was having my practice um, games was um, set a pushback point. But I don't know if we can do that now with small stands or, hmm, hang on. Um, yeah, you used to be able to do it in there. Pushback point. Okay, it might be a change to the game. I haven't played this one for a little bit, this game, so some things might have changed, actually, since I last played. Um, but we'll have a look and see. Let's go on speed two again, just so we can get that last stand done. Regular taxiway, set of holding points. Okay. Um, All right. Oh, change the orientation of the whole thing. Hit the wrong key. Uh, that's all good. Um, small stand still waiting to be built. Little builders are running across. They're still doing it. Okay, I think that is all good. Um, now, um, check in here. If I go to my building menus, I get my little torch. Um, so, because I really hate that, how it goes to night time. Um, especially as you're trying to build in that first day. But, you know, that's the game. All right, let's let's uh, let's now get in a... Uh, what is it called? A vehicle checkpoint. Vehicle checkpoints. All right, so we're going to put it in here. And again, let's see what we're looking for. Oh, yep, so we need to rotate it. Uh, and if I'm correct, that's what we're looking at. We are looking here for the public road on the right hand side and coming in from the east and the service road asphalt coming in from the west and uh, I was incorrect it isn't eight across it's only four uh, two across um, or sorry uh, instead of four across it's two across all right let's build that one um, service road concrete Oop. incorrect but let's put this one here yeah they're good all right so they'll now build those um, this one here we're going to accept for general aviation and open so that's all right to go um, now let's see what else they're being built I believe we need to now sign a um, hang on is the airport well we can open the airport at this point I believe let's go to operations and overview airport open always accept GA general aviation 
and the Avgas refueling is disabled. If I try to put it on, it says that we need um, the fuel depot um, to enable that. So we'll do that next. We'll get the fuel depot being built for the Avgas. But the general aviation side of things should be right to go. Um, once the sun comes up uh, at far, nearly 6 a.m. Um, and it's nearly 2 a.m. now, so we'll go on speed three. Yeah, once the sun comes up, we should have um, some general aviation flights landing. Um, so that's good. Uh, yeah, happy with that. Okay, um, so what are we doing? We're looking at um, depots. So we want a vehicle depot. We will also need uh, structures, fuel depot and fuel tank. So I'm going for an Avgas fuel depot. And I want these near the service roads. Now I want to think of uh, expansion here as well. So instead of putting them over here, because I think uh, uh, eventually I want, um, yeah, eventually I'm going to want a little bit more of these um, aircraft stands. So uh, let's put this depot about here, the fuel. Let's put him, say, rotate it. So let's put him there. And let's put a fuel tank of gas rotating there. And a vehicle depot. Whoop. Vehicle depot. Oh, vehicle depot. There we go. Even better. And we'll put that one there. Okay, I think that's all good. Um, 6 a.m. I think our first flight just landed. Back to speed one. Yeah. There he goes. Um, this one's just landed now. So he should come in and go into one of the bays. Um, I'm not sure which one. He'll probably go into the first one that was built, but we'll see. Uh, wow, he's he's turning. He's turned into the taxiway for some reason, but now he's coming back down, taxiing, and he should park in one of those bays. In the meantime, those builders are very slowly getting onto the fuel depot. We'll be able to order a fuel truck at some point. Um, and then we panic and see if it all works. It's usually something I've forgotten at that point. I know we have to sign a fuel contract. Um, there he goes, he went into that bay, that's pretty good. Let's go and sign a fuel contract now actually. So economy contracts, and I don't have a fuel contract. Ooh, uh, maybe I need to go to fuel services unlocked. Fuel truck, um, I can need Fuel truck, I need the, these three to be built. Or vehicle depot. And the right, yeah, everything else is good except, except for the vehicle depot. That's all right. Um, so what am I looking at here? I have gas, fuel truck. I have gas. Fjord, 1500. And 50, 2000. Ah, this one's cheaper. The Fjord fuel, fuel truck with have gas. If I try to order it, do not have the requirements. It'll be the vehicle depot. So that's all right. Let's just um, fast forward, wait for that vehicle depot to rock and roll. And three planes have now come in. There we go. That's brilliant. They're up and running. The gas stations are up and running. Uh, and now we have a vehicle depot. So I'll order that um, Fjord Avgas fuel truck. That's good. See if we can go to economy and contracts and now we have these fuel um, contracts ready. So nature fuel, small, um, expires in two days. Expires on day two. Have your fuel, medium. I'm just going to take the small one straight off the bat. Not even worry about the cost. I'm just going to take them. They both seem to expire on day two, which is nice and annoying. Um, but cool. Okay. So, am I. Let's see what's happening here with fuel. Basic fuel thing is operational. Um, so, it is open. Depot is awaiting incoming resupply. So we are now waiting on fuel trucks to come in. And there we go, there's a fuel truck. 
So that's pretty good. We have general aviation up and running. We should have a fuel truck. We should have, uh, in fact, we have two fuel trucks because I believe it'll be one to almost fill the main station, the other one to top it up and then fill the next one or we'll see. Um, let's see how they go. Um, usually at this point in my other games, I've done something wrong and these fuel trucks get up to here and then turn around and uh, you have to check what sort of road you got and all this sort of stuff. Um, and by the way, um, in Australia, we drive on the left hand side of the road. So these people driving on the right are confusing me. Um, but we can't change that setting at the moment, unlike city skylines when you can. Oh, look how those fuel trucks both line up next to each other. So um, let's have a look here. Two trucks, 100% there, and the second tank, 100%. Ooh, happy with that. Um, yeah, very happy. Okay, um, vehicle depot is good. And I think here is our, let's have a look here. Yep, two, two fuel trucks are leaving. At the same time, the other truck um, that will come and resupply the planes is gonna arrive. So I think this one's gonna pull in, um, pass the vehicle checkpoint and go to the vehicle depot. And then when, it's, when these planes require, it'll then top it up. Um, that's brilliant. Okay, let's expand. Um, yeah, we've got a little bit of time. Let's just, uh, let's put in a few more aircraft stands. Um, hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, okay, I know what I'll do. Let's bring them up to eight aircraft stands. So what do we got there? Price, yep, six, 1.676 million still. So it's roughly what I said, uh, the 1.650 um, was what we sort of think we need to get it kind of up and running. Very basic. Um, so if I go infrastructure, aircraft stand, and I'm gonna do these straight to concrete because we're gonna upgrade the other ones in a minute anyway. Um, here, let's put one more. And then we'll put them here, but we will turn it. Yep, and we'll put the service road down there. So that'll be right in there. Yeah, that's good. And so that's uh, four, five, this is six, seven, and eight. And at the same time, let's see if we can click on this one and upgrade it to concrete, 20,000. Yep. And this one, concrete, 20,000. Uh, they needed repairing. Wow, they're expensive to repair as well. And upgrade to concrete. Yep, and then we might even just go and repair each of these. Jeez, look at that, 98% uh, still capacity with condition, sorry, 98% good condition, still needs 13,000, oh sorry, no, that's 1,200, oh that's pretty, that's pretty good, I thought it was 13,000 to, to do that. That's because that dollar sign's at the back there. <laughs> um, cool, okay, well that's good, I think um, that's all, that's all happening. We know we'll need a service road, uh, infrastructure, service road, concrete. We know that'll be here and that will pop out. But let's keep this service road running straight across because I think that'll leave us a nice little future expansion opportunity. So that's, that's nice. Okay, once those stands are built, we'll remember to go in and um, connect the nodes turn them on, select them for general aviation. So that's all pretty good. Um, okay, so there's our basic sort of uh, um, airport with general aviation. Now, one thing I really struggle with in this game, I have practiced and tried and tried to work out the answer, is I can't seem to work out what happens with the holding points. So at this point, uh, at this point, uh, I've set a holding point to here and here, but I, when we set the holding points, I can't work out how we rotate them. Um, I, I've tried and I don't know what I'm doing. If anyone knows, pop it in the comments for me because that would be really handy. Um, I can't seem to work out how that happens. Um, but um, plane management, when you get a really busy airport, um, is a really 
uh, fun part of this game and and making sure the planes will hold back at certain points and let the other plane pass um, and setting up those systems is really really cool but remember we're also trying to build a fairly realistic airport where a runway would be in real life so we're trying to mimic real life to a point so um, yeah let's just click on these general aviation and open uh, oh hang on requires a connection to the taxiway you've got to do that first okay so if we go to taxiway nodes and it's going to be double click double click double click on each of these and then that's gone and if I go open stands general aviation still don't know why the taxiway nodes are on I reckon that's a bug at the moment because they shouldn't be I've clicked off the nodes so they shouldn't be there but yeah um, and the game's in early development but I mean things like those um, those planes clipping each other um, not brilliant I don't reckon I reckon they could do that slightly better um, if we're trying to build fairly um, realistic airports. Alright, so we now have a general aviation airport um, with, and you know what, before we go into the next episode, we're just going to upgrade the runway and the taxiways um, and into concrete. So let's see, repair this taxiway first um, and we need to upgrade it to concrete. Expensive. Ooh, pretty though. Um, and how can I? Ooh, how do I do the taxiways? Let's have a look. I don't know if I've upgraded taxiways before. Taxiway foundation. If I go taxiway foundation concrete, can I just lay it directly over the top? Yes, and there's no build time. That is lovely. Oh, happy with that, happy with that. Yeah, that's really good. They've done some re really good things with this game. Because it's already built, we're upgrading it. Here we go. Um, cool, so general aviation. I think this is a, a nice little start to our, um, our sort of game plan here. Um, I think we've got we've got um yeah everything uh, happening so episode two we're going to uh we're going to look at um possibly getting into well definitely getting into commercial aviation um and that's where it's going to get um sort of complicated this whole area is going to be a big sort of drop-off area and then this whole area kind of here is going to be um the the first part of the terminal i want to keep security nice and low so drop off in this kind of area here um i don't mind the idea of um, running the public road a fair way up and letting those um, buses and cars come a fair way out um, and then turning around in here but we'll certainly need uh, a nice security part um, a very expandable security bit is what i'm looking at um, lots of space around um, so you never know we might even have to get our first terminal really looking along the whole eastern boundary um, and then we can uh, look at expanding north and then across the top of the screen um, to the west because um, uh, then we can really separate the, com the, the commercial with the general aviation and I, I really like the idea that it's just, um, these two airports operating off this one runway which is the um, connecting factor. All right, well, thank you for this uh, for joining me on the first episode of uh, this new series of Airport CEO. Um, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share my channel with your friends. Um, I'm playing Planet Coaster as well at the moment, so you can have a look at uh, a stitch up um, with the adventure pack. Oh, there go those planes clipping each other again. Um, anyway, you can yeah have a look at some um, my Planet Coaster series and um, uh, hit the like button on those too, please. It really helps my channel, especially in these early days and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Cheers!